Hi, this is Dan Locke. You're about to seat front row and center at my consulting and coaching business workshop. If you are thinking of becoming a coach, a consultant, or if you're a service provider, or if you're already a consultant and coach, I think you'll find some very powerful, powerful strategies. I'm going to show you exactly how you go from zero to $100,000 a year in income, or how to go from $100,000 to making a million dollars a year as a coach and consultant. Enjoy. So let me explain. Consulting 101, consulting 101, what the heck does a consultant do exactly? Now I'm, I'm going to, again, be generalizing this because I don't want to have to keep saying consultant and coach, consultant and coach. I'm just going to say consultant just to save a little bit of time. Is that okay? Yes. So what exactly does a consultant do exactly? And, and why do people hire a consultant? The king of high ticket sales, world's highest paid consultant, media celebrity, multi-millionaire entrepreneur, acclaimed 10x speaker, international best-selling author, Dan Locke. What are you actually selling? A consultant, as a consultant, you sell specialized knowledge. What do you sell? Yeah, you have knowledge in a specific area. You sell that. You also sell fresh eyes. Sometimes people, maybe entrepreneurs, they're so close to the business, they, they can't see the business from 30,000 feet above. It's just like, what's the saying? People can't see the, the tree from the forest. Is that how they say? Right? They can't see, they're too close to the business. They have a tunnel vision. So you provide a pair of fresh eyes. Common sense. You also sometimes help them by asking stupid questions. Questions that may not, they may not even think about. That they're doing certain things, and they're like, oh, how can I do this? What do I need to do? And you say, oh, why even doing it at all? Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe I don't have to do this shit. That's two stupid questions. As an outsider, as a third party, you're not emotionally attached to those, to the problems. You can ask interesting questions, out of the box questions. You can help them discover hidden opportunities. Sometimes when I work with an entrepreneur, I like to help them discover hidden opportunities. That they're so, again, they're so, so they're being buried in the day to day. Sometimes then opportunity is there, maybe a relationship, maybe a joint venture relationship, or whatever hidden assets that they have could be intangible that they don't even see it by helping them. Hey, have you thought about this? Oh, what about this? Hmm. What about this? Hmm. I never thought about that. Discover hidden opportunities. They're very interesting. Connections, maybe as consultant coach, that you can help the client by making connections. How many of you do that? That sometimes you help them by making connections and referrals to other people, right? Or maybe your clients need certain work done and you know a reliable vendor that can help them. How many have done that before, right? Connections. Resources, maybe you have resources, you have programs, you have books, right? All those things that might be able to help them. Like part of the uh, DLIC, Dark in a Circle, that my mentees have access to my library. My library's got some good shit. <laughs> it's got some good stuff, right? I have over 2,000 books, I have all kinds of courses. I have like courses, hundreds of them, right? I spend a lot of money buying courses. Uh, marketing materials, a lot of different things in my library. That's resources. Challenge preconceived limits. Sometimes maybe your clients believe that they can, only, they can only get to this point, or maybe that's the glass ceiling. That No, that's just what I do. That's it. But you can challenge them. Hey, maybe you can do a little bit more. Oh, okay. Maybe you can do a little bit more. Hmm. Okay. Maybe you can have this business, but you can also start this business on the side. Never thought about that. So you challenge the preconceived limits. You maybe help them with implementation. How many have done that before? Right? You give them advice, but you help them to, to implement. So implementation, that's what you're selling as well. Accountability, accountability as a coach, or maybe a fitness coach again. Hey, you know what? Showed up two times a, a week. We're going to do some weightlifting. We're going to do some cardio. You're holding them accountable to show up. So accountability, that makes a difference. Recognition, recognition. As an entrepreneur, as a consultant and coach, uh, how many sometimes find that to be lonely, right? That sometimes you do, you make, you make a stupid mistake, but you don't want people to know. But sometimes you experience success, nobody will understand, right? It's like, yeah, I can't tell my relatives, 
on the phone. Hey, I got I, I got this funnel going on. I'm getting my cost per lead at one dollar and twenty six cents, and my conversion on the page is sixteen percent. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> right? Like they don't get it. They don't understand. Oh, I just closed a deal for a quarter million dollars. Okay. Like, yeah. They don't get it. So recognition, sometimes, sometimes we want people to recognize what we've done, the hard work we've put in. Validation. Sometimes your client wants to implement an idea. They want to do it. They just need some validation. They know what they need to do. They just need a little bit of a push and say, hey, you know what? That's a good idea. Sometimes that's all it takes. They know they're going to do it, but they need some validation. Hey, that's a good idea. Okay, I'm going to do it. That happens too, right, Andre? It happens a lot. Like it's some, just a validation. Sometimes it's to verify, to make sure it's actually a good idea. That happens too, right? Motivation. That sometimes they maybe lose motivation from time to time, right? Depends on if they're having different problems. They need someone to motivate them. That's what you're selling. And most important of all, you're selling certainty. As a consultant coach, the most important thing that you could sell, write this down, is certainty. You're selling certainty in an uncertain world. This is very important. You're selling certainty in an uncertain world. They're not so sure. Most people are not, sure, not so sure. But you provide that certainty, that security. Hey, do this. Take this path. You'll be fine. Now, maybe you are a very experienced consultant and coach. Usually, like myself, I'm probably right, I would say 90% of the time. Not 100%, but my predictions, my advice is, I would say, right, correct, 90% of the time. Sometimes, even though it's maybe it's not exactly perfect, but what I notice is by just giving them that motivation, give, them, give the, the, the client a little bit of certainty, they move forward a little bit, and then we can pivot. But at least they're, they're making progress. Does that make sense? That happens too. Certainty. That's what you're selling. Problem is, a lot of coaches and consultants, they're not very comfortable. They're not very certain of their abilities because they ain't fucking good. They are no good. They don't even have certainty about themselves, about their expertise. How could they provide certainties to the marketplace? Knowing that's what you're selling and knowing that's what people are buying. Notice a lot of these things, maybe you're selling results, maybe you're selling expertise. I could tell you from my experience of doing this for over a decade now, that's what, not what most people buy. You think that's what they buy. Results and your expertise. Because all those things are assumed. They assume you have that. This is why they're buying and this is why they're staying. My question to you is, how many of these things, think of a checklist, are you providing to your clients? Are you providing one thing? Are you providing two things or providing a bunch of these? A bunch of these. So, what have you learned from my talk and how does it apply to you and how do you take direct action? Comment below and let me know. If any other questions, you can also comment below. And don't forget, click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification, and hit the bell. So every single time I upload a new video, you will get notified. If you want to watch my other videos, make sure you can check them out on the left. You can check out all the other videos that I have. We have hundreds of videos on YouTube. You want to expand on a topic? Check it out.